welcome to all you Metal Gear Solid fans out there. This time what I have in front of you to review is the brand new Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Play Arts Jungle Fatigue version. Um, this figure came out I believe at the end of um, November and I mean I saw, as soon as I saw it on eBay um, it was a must for me. Uh, you guys know how much I love uh, the Metal Gear Solid series and Peace Walker is one of the best games I played this year. And I can't believe I'm still uh, playing around with that game, unlocking weapons and, and crazy stuff like that. So I was really excited to get this figure because I mean, I mean, the sneaking suits are awesome. The version zero, the regular, are awesome. But I was, I really like Snake on uh, when I play the game. I always play him. I like to play him when wearing the the fatigue zone. So I was really excited. And when I heard that they were going to make a figure with the fatigue zone, I got really pumped. Um, I just want to thank you quickly uh, for all your birthday wishes. To, today is Saturday, and uh, I'm a little <laughs> hungover a little bit. Um, but man, I just can't believe that this showed up today. I guess the mail here uh, usually the mail does not work during the weekends here in Canada, but because through the holidays they're so busy, they're working seven days a week. So I was just so surprised to see this show up. Uh, right after my birthday. I was not expecting this figure uh, till, uh, <laughs> till Monday so I'm really pumped and excited that it came uh, today. So uh, I, I mean a day later for my birthday so that was pretty pretty cool. So uh, let's, let me just show you quickly the box of it. Okay the box is pretty much the same as the other figures. I'm not going to get into much detail but as you can see I'm just going to show you quickly there and I mean you can see the figure is completely different in the background but there's no uh, other than the here it says right there. Um, let me see if I can get focused in here. Uh, snake jungle fatigues version that is pretty much the only difference uh, in the box packing of it and of course uh, at the back here when you turn it around um, it shows you the figure here in full action here with the uh, you know the gun and the, and the, uh, the CQC knife the electric knife the M16 and I show you a quick preview here of the uh, Zeke because I really want that figure right there and the cocoon there um, after this figure, I'm pretty much just gonna get. Uh, I only probably want to get Zeke, and that's about it. That's, that's as much as figures. I mean, I have all the snake figures. That's all I want, and Zeke because it, yeah, that's one very important element to this game. So enough about the box. Let's get the figure out, shall we? And this is everything you get with the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Play Art Sky Volume Three Big Boss Snake Jungle Fatigues version. You get the figure, which looks incredible already so badass it looked pretty stiff in the box but I mean uh, now I mean just a quick pose there and it looks so sick I'll show you that in close detail in a little bit you get a brand new set of instructions here you get the booklet that contains the code there to unlock soldiers t-shirts and all sorts of stuff I mean like I said before in all the reviews of, of the uh, Play Art Sky figures for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker the advertising campaign on this game is just awesome. Yeah, you can buy all sorts of products. You can buy Coca-Cola uh, Coca cans, uh, chocolate bars, and they come uh, and they come with these codes. I mean, everything was uh, all these promotional was pretty much emphasized for Japan, uh, uh, but not over here. I never seen anything like that. So uh, you guys are very lucky in Japan that you guys got to enjoy this whole promotional campaign for Peace Walker and unlock all those kinds of soldiers and stuff like that. Very very cool. Um, you get the M16, uh, of course accessories, the M16 uh, assault rifle, you get um, this hand right here, plus the ones he's got on, so you only get three, uh, three hand, sets of hands. Uh, you get the M MK22 hush puppy, of course his tranquilizer gun, and you get his uh, electric knife, uh, CQC knife. Alright, we'll start the review here with the uh, figure. As you can see, it is the same head sculpt as the other figures. It is a beautiful head sculpt. I think uh, this is one of the uh, most accurate likenesses to the character Snake. I mean to Big Boss. Uh, I mean it, it is fantastic. There's, <laughs> there's no other way to put it. It is spectacular. Quickly here I mean you can see the the, the beard there. The very very detail. It's got grayish on it. Great little bit of gray paint. I mean he's a little bit older 
in this game right after Snake Eater. So he's a little bit older here. I mean, his eye patch. Uh, imperfections on the skin, I mean, the flesh tones, I mean, it looks so lifelike, his eye, it's got a little bit of wetness on the, the I mean, exactly, I, I've, I've covered this before and the other figures, it is the exact same head sculpt, very well sculpted, very well painted, he's a uh, trademark bandana here, I mean, it looks awesome, the head sculpt is just dead on. The big change on this figure here, the notable, <laughs> huge noticeable change here is the, the outfit he's wearing, it is completely different. So, let me show you here quickly, uh, on the range uh, of motion here, of articulation, it's pretty much the same. You can see uh, it, it, it is fully articulated on the arms here. Uh, it rotates right here on the on this line break here. You can see the joints here on the, on the elbow. Moves up, wrist twist. His um, torso here has, actually has two points here uh, on the waist and up here on the upper, uh, on the chest. So it gives you a very good range of motion there, as you can see. Very, very nice. Twist as well. Twist on the um, on the waist, which the other figure had kind of a trouble doing this. Uh, the other two figures, uh, the sneaking version, but this one is doing it very, very well. As you can see, it can twist the uh, the waist there. Very, very nice play arts. Um, you can see the same here for this shoulder here, and twist on the uh, on the line here. Move it up here, elbow, wrist. The uh, what I call the running man can be uh, achieved. Uh, I mean, it's got very awesome uh, ball joints there to move this figure in uh, all sorts of ways. All the way down here, it's the uh, what I notice here right away is the uh, the knees here. The the break of the knees is uneven, so I mean it's it's made to be posed in different ways. So that's what kind of they did it in that style. So the knees bend right here, as you can see, very, very nicely. And of course, the shoes uh, have uh, articulation as well. Very, very cool. Uh, detail on the figure, I mean, the, I mean, as you can see, he's wearing a completely new, uh, different outfit, uh, the green fatigues. I mean, I love this. Uh, when I play um, the game, I love playing in, in this in this gear. I mean, on sorts of different camouflage because it's, you know, it's it's more of a soldier outfit, you know what I mean? He, Snake is just badass. I think he just looks so badass with this outfit. It's great. You can see it's a green olive um, fatigue here. It looks fantastic. Um, you can see uh, all sorts of detail and wrinkle on the uh, on the clothing. He is a collar here. Looks pretty, pretty badass. You, get, you see the stubble harness here that uh, goes and weaves all the way to the back here. Uh, as the other figures as well and weaves all the way down here to this uh, his main belt here which he's got two of them now huge belts here all uh, inter uh, inter looping here all over the place you get this double harness here going through his crotch area here and weaving all the way to the back uh, his main pack before okay, before I get to the main pack I want to show you these over here these uh, armor pieces I mean like I said before Hideo Kojima and uh, um, I mean his imagination is just crazy. Um, the armors and the the outfits that these guys wear in, in his games are just spectacular. As you can see, it's got a, he's very heavily armored here on the uh, on the um, shoulders here. As you can see, this armor piece here has the um, Militaire Sans Frontier logos right over here, very very detailed. And over here, you get the uh, Fox Hound symbol here. Very nice. It's got a little kind of like a yellowish sticker there, but it looks awesome. You get the whole, I mean, it just looks great. I mean, fantastic work by Play Arts recreating this. And yes, and they're, these figures, uh, the making of these figures are completely supervised by Mr. Hideo Kojima himself. Uh, it's, it's spectacular. The stubble, uh, I mean, the stubble harness uh, right here, and then you get the main belt that has all the pouches here. I mean, very, very detailed here. Looks nice, very well sculpted. It's got both three main pouches here for magazines, uh, survival gear, and all the way in the back you get the, the water cantina over here. It looks awesome. It looks very, very detailed. Let me see if I get a close-up shot of that before my. This is as best as it can get, guys. My camera, if I get closer, it's going to go out of focus. But I mean, you get the idea. It is very detailed. You get his main survival pack here. I mean, huge uh, pack in the back. With, for survival gear, probably a um, sleeping bag and all sorts of stuff in there. 
and another two another water cantina as well at the back here. Uh, the holster here is, I mean, it's just the same as the other one. It's flexible. You can peg it right there, and you can put your gun in there. But it's all plastic. I mean, this is all high quality uh, uh, PVC uh, plastic, I believe. Uh, it is awesome. It's got a great smell, man. When, once this figure came out of the uh, out of the box, I mean, the 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 vinyl, the PVC, the plastic is just like, oh, it's just like a great air freshener. Just the way P2 likes it. Uh, you can see here the uh, harness here going around this leg to hold the holster in place. It looks very, very nice. And yes, I let me not let let's not forget about the uh, CQC knife holder there, which I'm going to show you the CQC uh, the electric CQC knife in a little bit. But it is a great addition. The other figures did not have this. The uh, sneaking suit versions did not have uh, the knife, which is uh, they should have it at all times. I don't know why they forgot this, but. This is a great addition to the figure, the CQC knife holder right there. It's got some weathering on there, and grayish, it looks awesome. As well as the other, the whole rest of the figure is nicely weathered all over the place. It looks really cool. You know, at the bottom here, the boots, I mean, they look really awesome, very detailed. I mean, the sculpting on it, uh, on this figure is just fantastic. 